Hello and welcome to Doc Clay's Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at organic chemistry and importantly we're going to be looking at cracking and in particular we're going to be looking at thermal cracking. So by the end of this lesson you should be able to know why we crack long chain hydrocarbons, recall how we crack long chain hydrocarbons and identify the products of cracking. Okay so let's get going. So why crack hydrocarbons in the first instance? Well, if we remember our distillation, we start off with a barrel of crude oil and that gets separated in the fractional distillation into lots of fractions. And the problem with these fractions is we get more of the long chain hydrocarbons compared to the short chain hydrocarbons. And the short chain hydrocarbons are more useful for things like fuels and for making polymers than the long chain. So cracking allows us to create more useful short chain hydrocarbons, which are more useful and we can sell them for a better price. So importantly, how do we crack hydrocarbons? Just be aware that if you are an A-level student, there are two types of cracking. Here we're just in GCSE, we're just looking at one type of cracking. To crack, what we have is our paraffin, or in this case, our paraffin is our long chain hydrocarbon. And we heat that and to 600 to 700 degrees Celsius over a alum, alumina or aluminium oxide catalyst. Again, if you're on the A level course, just be careful because we look use a different catalyst there. And we get our product out in an upturned glass because the gases produced aren't soluble in water. So the product gets evaporated on the catalyst, it is cracked, and we'll see what happens in that cracking process in a second. The product is then a gas, goes along the tube, out, doesn't dissolve into the water, and therefore bubbles up and fills into the top of the glass jar and collects up there, or a boiling tube, depending on what you're using. So importantly, now let's go and have a look and see what the products are from cracking. Products of cracking. We start off with a long chain hydrocarbon or long chain alkane and we're going to make short chain or shorter chain alkanes and as well short chain alkenes for uh, the formation of polymers. So what do we get here? Dodecane, 12 carbons in length. Well, we could see we could make something with 8 carbons. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. With everything being a hydrogen. Get this down for you. So the alkane here with eight carbons is going to have the formula, the general formula, CnH2n plus 2, which means this has got a CHH18. 8 times by 2 is 16 plus 2 gives us 18. And what that leaves us with then is four carbons to fill. The octane or CH18 is a shorter chain, more useful fuel for petrol and the other two products we get here are C, or two lots of carbon chains with double bonding. So these are alkenes and if they've got two carbons in the chain and a double bond, we name these both as right ethene. 
These have both got the formula C2H4 for the alkene. And if we now add up the total number of carbons, we have C8H18 plus C2H4 plus C2H4 totaling C12H26 and you'll notice there that this molecular formula is exactly the same as the dodecane to start with. So just to remind yourself the products of cracking there shorter chain alkanes for things like fuel and short chain alkenes ethene for making polymers or plastics. That's the end of cracking. So just to recap there, you should now be able to know why we crack long chain hydrocarbons, recall how we crack long chain hydrocarbons and identify the products of cracking. Well done.